Hey nerds, so for your Market Garden Minute this week, let's discuss some do's and don'ts of wood chips in the garden. Uh, raw wood chips from an arborist or tree clearing crew can be a great resource because they are more often than not free of harmful chemicals like the broadleaf herbicides you may find in straw or hay and wood chips can be an excellent source of carbon generally. Uh, first, there is a shorter list of things you shouldn't do with wood chips than things that you should do with them. So let's start with the don'ts. First, working wood chips into your soil with a tiller or something and then trying to plant into that soil is a definite don't. Undecomposed wood chips will occupy the soil microbes and tie up the available nitrogen and possibly alter the pH of the soil, making it very difficult to grow basically anything. Um, given enough time, of course, the wood chips will re-release that nitrogen and the soil will be happier for it. But in the immediate, having chips below the surface will cause nutritional problems in your crops. Even in the sort of back to Eden method, practitioners generally recommend laying down a thick layer of compost before the wood chips to ensure not too much nitrogen is tied up. That said, wood chips are only tying up nitrogen where they touch. So I discourage using them on the soil surface with some leniency. But like I said, working them into the soil, that's different because they will likely absorb a lot of nitrogen. Uh, for deeper rooted crops like tomatoes or peppers, as long as the wood chips are not touching the plant stem, you can technically use wood chips as a mulch. Though I still suggest allowing them to break down quite a bit first because they may release tannins and other biochemicals that may slow plant growth down and, like I said, alter the pH. Uh, also, when you apply chips to the surface, I would still suggest spacing your crops a bit wider to not be affected by that. And to be clear, we do not do a lot of surface mulching with wood chips on our farm. It's just a little bit risky with slowing our plant growth down. And I can't speak much to slugs, but if slugs are an issue in your area, wood chips will make them more than likely worse. And please don't say that you don't have a slug issue, you have a duck deficiency. Um, ducks will eat a lot of your crops, they will stomp all over everything, and they will make your garden iffy. I've used ducks, they're great, I love them dearly. As a certified organic farm, we can't have them around our plants, um, but you probably just want to kind of control them a little bit. I wouldn't let them into the garden too much, if you don't have to. Otherwise, places that wood chips work really well in the garden is in the pathways to suppress weeds. You can also inoculate wood chips with mushrooms like wine capstropharia, as I described in this video. Um, wood chips are awesome in a compost pile as your primary source of carbon. They make for excellent mulches around perennial plants and shrubs. Uh, I have started layering chips under some of our greenhouse beds to capture some of the lost nutrients uh, and moisture from the seedling trays. Um, so in the fall, I will harvest this material and use it as a mulch or a compost or an inoculant or something. And of course, wood chip piles occupy children very well. Seriously, between the mulch pile and our trampoline, the kids pretty much are set. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Otherwise, this video was brought to you by you, our patrons, at patreon.com slash growers. So please sign up to support more videos like it. Buy some merch or a hat or the Living Soil Handbook over at notillgrowers.com. Uh, like the video if you like the video. Subscribe or follow if you're awesome. And we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. That one was definitely a minute. Nailed it.